Yes, let's talk about how fabulous Hank is. Yes. Yes. You know, all, yeah. I think that, you know, I was telling, you know, um, the guys are talking with the writers and you know, we talk about this possibility of another love interest, right? And so we, just with that idea, we know that, you know, I won't, because it's grim, it won't be love just for love's sake, obviously, right? So it's going to be, it's going to be a little skewed, right? It's going to be like sort of turn on its ear. So I'm sure that... That, that that idea is going to add another element. You know what I mean? Like that, my problems potentially will become Nick's problems, will become Monroe's problems. But the other thing that that I sort of sort of like to keep in mind for Hank, as this, as every more and more people come into the fold who are more aware, right? This sort of grim Scooby Gang sort of thing that's kind of established is that I, I look at Hank as more of a big gun. You know what I mean? Like he's he doesn't have necessarily be there on the everyday. You know what I mean? You've got like Rosalie and like. Like Juliet and Monroe, they're like doing like the everyday like da 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 da, da you know, you're rolling around, and then they go like, oh, we're in trouble, we can't get a hold of Nick, uh, Monroe, uh, Renard's on the phone, so like, let's call Hank, and Hank's got like, he's cool, right, so Hank's got, he's got a nice little like, you know, raincoat, trench coat thing going on, you know what I mean? and you know, he's in there, this side is a sawed off shotgun, this side might be a little squirt gun, or something like that, you know what I mean, and then it's like, he walks slow, he moves calm, you know what I mean? He has a nice little look about him, and everybody fucking gets scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, you know, that's, that's you know what I mean? Okay, so now that, like, the lid's kind of been blown off on Raynard, like, how will, how will Hank deal with it now? Does Hank trust him? Well, no, no, Hank doesn't trust anybody. You know what I mean? I, and I think what happens is, what's, what, I, I think they sort of create more as equals, you know, in a sense, even though there's a respect level of I'm a detective, he's a captain. Be, but because we're sort of all, you know, all on the same team fighting this common enemy, and we all know the secret, it's like we can talk more as equals with a different level of respect. You know what I mean? Realizing, like, listen, man, you, I, I mean, I know you're the captain, though, but like. Respect layered with distrust. Yeah! Yeah! Cautious distrust. Yeah. So.